This morning, LA leaders announced the results of this year's homeless count. It includes how many people are living on the streets and what services they may need. KTLA 5 Samantha Cortez live now in downtown LA with details on the results. Samantha. Glenn and Lou just walked out of that meeting. It's still going on here in downtown LA where city leaders gathered to share that information. Of course, homelessness is one of the top topics in Southern California, particularly here in Southern Cal uh, in Los Angeles, especially during an election year. And the mayor has made it her priority to solve this problem. So what are the numbers and should they be celebrated? Just learning now, there are fewer homeless people in the LA area, according to this count, for the first time in many years, 75,312 people in the county, 45,252 in the city. That is down 0.3% in the county, down 2.2 in the city. Los Angeles Homeless Service Authority, or LASA, made that announcement today going over data from that homeless count that took place over three days in January. They counted people in cars, RVs, tents, and makeshift shelters as well. The numbers in this year's homeless count give us cause to feel optimistic about the direction of our homeless work across LA County. We saw in previous slides that overall, there are fewer people on the street and more people in shelter moving towards permanent housing. While those inside this meeting admit they're nowhere close to solving the problem, as you heard, they are optimistic. But let's look at the numbers here. The number is down about 200 people in the county, 1,000 in the city, while we're talking about 120,000 people. The number of people who went into housing increased, so they are considered sheltered homeless. And that is really where this organization is celebrating today and is optimistic because people going from the street into interim housing is up nearly 50%. And those from interim housing to permanent housing up about 25%. But they also shared a statistic that is sobering. For every 100 people who come out of homelessness, they are noticing 120 people falling into it. And of those people who go into homelessness, they consider them newly homeless. 54% say it's because of the rising cost of housing and economic hardship. Now, this is a timely announcement today. The Supreme Court made a ruling saying enforcing homeless policy does not unconstitutionally criminalize this the person. This will allow for states and local jurisdictions to prohibit encampments and punish offenders. The case originated after the city of Grants Pass, Oregon, enforced a no sleeping ordinance in the city with $200 fines, threats of incarceration. The dissenting judges, the vote was six to three, ruled this was, uh, uh, they argued, not ruled, that this was a cruel violation of civil rights. They said this would punish people on the streets when the city does not have enough shelter available. So what are the local reactions here today? The governor, Gavin Newsom, uh, it's a little mixed. Gavin Newsom says this is actually going to help any legal ambu ambiguity clear up for the state to allow the state to move forward with what it needs to do. Whereas city leaders here, for example, Lindsay Horvath just called this dangerous. Mayor Karen Bass said it is wrong to arrest the way out of the problem of homelessness. The mayor, by the way, not here in person today. She tested positive for COVID-19, but as I left that room, she was still speaking on this issue. In downtown, Samantha Cortese, back to you.